person. For every man, woman, and child that has ever been born out of the womb of a woman, he has appointed his son, Jesus Christ. He has appointed the blood of Jesus Christ to be that atonement. But if you reject the cross, if you look at the cross, and you see the blood running down from the cross, and you say, I don't need that. I don't need that atonement. I don't need that sacrifice. I don't need the Son. I don't need Jesus Christ. I'm a good person. I follow somebody else. I subscribe to another religion. I don't need Jesus Christ. Then you're on your way to hell. People don't realize how terrible hell is. The Bible says that in hell there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. It's not a party. It's not where you see your family and your friends. It's not a place where you're going to rejoice in. It's terrible. It's a horrible place where there's torment. Where, 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 where it's flames of fire constantly 24-7. Where the worm dieth not and thirst is not quenched. It's a terrible place to end up in hell. Don't end up in hell. Don't go to hell. We're here telling you, you don't have to go to hell. If you come to Jesus Christ, you don't have to burn in hell forever. There's only one name under heaven by which man must be saved. We're telling you right now, if you don't want to go to hell, come to Jesus Christ. Come to the feet of the cross and cry out to God. To draw nigh while he is near. To come to Jesus Christ while he's, he's begging you to come to the cross. Jesus has done everything that he possibly could do to save your soul. But if you reject oh so great of a salvation, then the only place for you to end up is hell. Come to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Two, check one two. Mike check one two. Amen. Praise the living God. So the Bible says there'll be many that walk on the broad side. Many that walk on the broad path of destruction. Few people are walking on the narrow path that leads to life. And my friends, we come here today. We could be doing anything else that we want to do today, but we rather come here to preach the good news of the gospel. Hoping that one lost sheep may hear. That one lukewarm Christian. One Satanist, one atheist, one Buddhist, one Muslim, anybody who's a Hindu may hear this good news of salvation and have a softened heart. To not harden your heart as in the day of provocation, but repent. My friends, we don't know when we're going to die. We see the news, mass shooters everywhere, people going crazy, people just having suicidal thoughts and decide they want to shoot and kill people that they don't know. But my friends, where are you going to spend eternity? Because, my friends, if you are an atheist and believe that we are just going to cease to exist, my friends, I come here today to tell you that that is a lie. For the Bible says that Satan is a deceiver. He's the father of lies, and he wants to keep you from the truth. It's like this. If I saw a blind man walking in this street right now, how much disrespect and hatred would I have if I saw this blind man walking in the street and I don't pull him out? It's the same thing of eternal life, my friends. Many people are having their eyes darkened. Many people are having their hearts hardened by material possessions. Because you have your health and your wealth, you think that life is well. But my friends, I come here to tell you today that life is very short and it is very dark outside. You can see the hearts of men, the thoughts of men, the actions of mankind that is getting worse. And Jesus said, in the last days because sin will abound the love of many will wax cold do we not see hatred in this land do we not see division in this land do we not see everybody getting offended over the littlest things my friends we cannot sit here and lie to ourselves be honest look at yourself in the mirror judge yourselves and the bible says you will be judged of no man but see the natural man cannot receive the spiritual things from god because you're walking in the flesh, my friends, you don't know when you're going to die. We worry about what we're going to eat and drink and where we're going, but my friends, you don't know if you're going to make it to that next hour. We act like life is promised to us. The next day is promised to us. But my friends, today I tell you, receive the good news. Receive Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God who was slain for you, died for you. If I were to ask, how many of you would die for me? How many of you would, would take a bullet for me? I guarantee you, not any of you would probably say I would because you say you don't know me. But yet Jesus Christ died for you some 2,000 years ago. 
who knew you when you were in the womb of your mother. My friends, today, repent. It's not about just changing your mindset, but it's about doing a 180. Turn from your wicked ways. The Bible says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. My friend, it's not just healing a land, it's healing your soul, healing your heart, giving you a new heart. The Bible says your heart is desperately wicked and deceitful above all things. Who can know it? But the Bible says that God can give you a new heart, new desires. Proverbs 20 verse 12 says this, The hearing ear and the seeing eye the Lord has made even both of them. And my friends, a lot of you have dull hearing. You're walking around with blur, with blur and blind vision. But the Lord says He's the one that creates the seeing eyes and the hearing ears. That when you hear His voice, you may follow Him. For Jesus says, I am the great shepherd. My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. But many of you are following the wrong voice. You're following the voice of your wicked heart. You're following the voice of your emotions. You're following the voice of Satan. Who is coming in the name of Buddha? Who's coming in the name of Allah? Who's coming in the name of Mary? Who's coming in the name of Krishna and Vishnu? My friends, I come here to tell you that life is not in a statue. My friends, I come here to tell you that salvation is not found in an idol. My friends, salvation is not found in your money. Salvation is not found in your material possessions or your health. Salvation is found in Christ because He is salvation. You see, it's, it's crazy to see this world where we care more about animals and the earth. But when we, when we begin to talk about life in the womb, when we begin to talk about abortion, we say, well, the cells on Mars is life, but yet we don't want to call this a baby inside of a mother's womb life. Amen. Do you see the depravity of men's minds? How far we have gone back? My friends, the abortion rate has skyrocketed. Homosexuality is skyrocketing, is now praised. And Jesus says, just like in the times of Noah and Lot, so will it be in the last days. Do we not see it in the land, my friends? Do we not see it? So why do we act like we don't? The Bible says pride comes before the fall. Pride comes before destruction. Pride comes before the fall. Pride comes before destruction. Wicked, wicked, wicked. I already have. I already have. No, I'm married actually. I've been married for four years. Gay people are nice, man. Gay people are nice, no gay people are on their way to hell. The Bible says, in the beginning, God made them male and female. A man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, not his husband. Okay, let's get that straight. You can't have you can't have children, you can't become one flesh with a man and man. You can't become one flesh with a woman and a woman. You become one flesh with a man and a woman, a child. So my friends, your deluded way of thinking. Your deluded way of accepting sin is going to cause yourself to go to hell. It's not that God takes pleasure in sending people to hell. No, you choose to go to hell. You choose because you reject the word of God. You reject the light of the world. For Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He that follows after me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Amen. The light of life, my friends. What did I say? It's dark outside. You don't know what you're stumbling over, your drugs, your suicidal thoughts, your depression, anxiety, you buy more liquor. You need that. You need to get rid of that, you need to keep that. Hide that in your heart that you might not sin against God, my friend. In the name of Christ, in the name of Christ, you can take that from No? What y'all support? I'll buy you with what do you need, sir? You need some clothes, some shoes, what do you need? A room? You don't need no I am willing to come out of my own pocket to help you. I'm willing to come out of my own pocket to help you. I'm willing to help you so you can stop drinking. We're not out here being fake Christians, okay? We're willing to do whatever it takes to help mankind, our neighbor, like Jesus says, love your neighbor as yourself. 
We're not fake Christians. What do we need to do to help you to get off your liquor? What do we, what do we have to do to help you to stop smoking weed? We will help you. Okay, we're not a Joe Osteen, we're not a T.D. Jakes or Joyce Myers, no. We're born again believers who believe in the word of God, that there is power in the name of Christ. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby men must be saved. It is the Lord Jesus Christ. You flip me off, but I bless you. I thank you. I love you. I pray that you make it to where you have to get to safely with the lady next to you. See, guys, you say we judge people, but yet we get flipped off and cursed off. We do not curse back. We do not come here with weapons. We do not come here angry. We come here with love to warn you, to warn you, to warn you to flee the wrath that is to come. To warn you to flee the wrath that is to come. My friend, why do you despise the goodness of God? For it is the goodness of God that leads you to repentance. But God is good, but He is also severe. And when His severity falls upon sin, my friends, it is not pretty. It is not pretty. It's almost like when you wake up in the morning and your breath stinks. It is like when you wake up in the morning and you have makeup running down your face. It is not pretty. So when God deals with sin on Judgment Day, best believe, when He says, Depart from me, I never knew you, thou worker of iniquity, that is the last thing. It is almost like when your heart stops beating. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 over, over, repent, repent, why are you so angry, why are you angry, why are you angry, sir, why are you angry, me? you want to flip me up and walk away, why are you angry, why are you angry, have I become your enemy because I told you the truth, have I become your enemy because I have spoken the truth to you, like Paul said, we are out here being a spectacle for you, we are fools, yes, fools for Christ. God bless you, man. Thank you. My friends, repent for the kingdom of God has come near to you today. The kingdom of God has come near to you today. I don't know if you can hear the genuosity of my voice towards you today, but I can truly say I don't know any of you. I don't know if I will ever see you again a day in my life, but I can truly say I love you enough to preach to you the truth. For the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins, my friends. Your good works is not going to get you to heaven. Mary is not going to get you to heaven. Praying the rosary is not going to get you to heaven. A statue is not going to get you to heaven. But there's only one, the true and living God, who's been here since the beginning of time, who is not affected by time. The Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lamb of God. <laughs> The King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, the Wonderful Father, the Everlasting Father. The best counselor that we can ever have is Christ. The best healer, for He never fails. You want to hold my phone? Yeah. Just Here, praise the living God. Here, why don't you guys hold the sign? I'm going to record you. I tried to get these guys to go, but they didn't want to. The Bible says, <laughs> "Good preach, man." Yeah, praise Christ God, brother. That was a great preach. All the world I really like your style. It's, it's, every it's, uh, it's a good style of preaching. He didn't say just go inside your church and listen to your pastor preach. No, he commanded every Christian to go everywhere they could and preach the gospel to everyone. And then he says, "He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, and he that believes not shall be damned." Now, we're not out here to try to condemn you. We're out here to try to see you get saved. Amen. That's a good see, word. See, the thing you don't understand is that you're condemned and on your way to hell already because you don't believe in Jesus Christ. Because you haven't been born again. Because Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he shall not, he shall not see the kingdom, kingdom of God. Of God. Yep, the right. Bible says in John 3, 18, it says, he that believes in Jesus is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already. already. Yeah, that's right. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and, and men love uh, darkness, darkness rather, rather than, than light, light because their deeds were evil. Yep. That's why that's you right. guys don't want to come to Christ. That's why you guys are sinful and on your way to hell because you hate righteousness, you hate the light, you hate the truth of of the Word of God and of Jesus Christ, and you you choose to to be of your father. Can you record it, brother? Just oh, like wait, Jesus called the Pharisees, he says, "You are of Just your father, the devil." Up, no. 
and the works of your father you will do. The works of your father you will do. And so you have the chance to repent and get right with God. And turn from your sin. And so we beg you, turn away from your sin. Get right with God. See, what you don't understand is that you can't be living a life of sin, doing things that are offensive to God, and still make it to heaven. Heaven is only for the holy and righteous people that have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. You have to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. You have to be born again by the Holy Spirit. You must be born of the Spirit. You must have an encounter with God. God. And the only way that's ever going to happen is for you to admit that you are a hell-deserving sinner, for you to realize that you are living in depravity, that you are living in sin, and that you must repent. Because the Bible says that God only saves those who are humble. He only saves those that are humble enough to come to the cross and die to self. See, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4, verse 4, it says, The God of this world, Satan, has blinded the eyes of them that don't believe. So that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ won't shine under them that they might be saved. The devil is here to kill, steal, and destroy. He's here to deceive you in any way you can. The devil just wants you to believe in anything except for Jesus Christ. Except for the true way of salvation that will get you to heaven. That, that true straight and narrow path that leads to life. That few people find. Most people are on that broad path. It could be anything in life that you want to believe in other than Jesus Christ. If you believe in, in Islam, if you believe in Buddhism, if you believe in New Age, if you believe, if you're just an atheist, any of those things will end up in hell, will lead you to hell. See, people are believing all these weird, crazy things that make 